Hey, how's it going? Jared here. Today, I'm going to show you how to be able to pivot your data in Tableau using a calculated field without having to pivot the whole data model, just using a calculated field. Super cool. Tableau makes it super easy, and I'm going to show you in less than four minutes. All right, let the countdown begin. So here we have our data and this format that we're normally used to, everything in a column style. And so when the data is unpivoted, we drag it in, it looks just like this. Now, let me just show you. One thing you can do really quickly if you want users to be able to click and interact with the data, they can do this and they can click on this and you can filter by each one of these diagnosis codes. So you have a claim ID and a diagnosis code and each one of these are just pretend a transaction and then items that maybe a customer bought. So, but we don't want to do that. Today we want to actually make it so that the data turns out like this where we can label each one. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So here we are with a blank canvas and the first thing I'm going to do is drag in our claim ID. So now we can get one row for each claim ID or for each purchase that happened. The next thing I'm going to do is bring in my diagnosis code so I can visually see everything. Now what we want to do is write a calculated field so that we can use the rank function to rank each one of these and we just need it so that it says one, two, three, four, five, whatever it may be. So I'm going to go ahead and call this rank diag all right and then we're going to use the rank function no level of detail needed here and then i'm going to go ahead and use the first which says hey look at the first row number it and then if there's like a second one then just look at the first one and then give me the number right after that so i'm going to hit apply i'm going to take that and i'm just going to drag that right in here so what we're going to, have to do is obviously convert this to a discrete number so that we can see it and so you see you have one two three four five six it's not really what we want so let's go back in here and i'm going to show you how to edit this using table calculations which is the most important part of this so we're going to go back in here hit edit you're going to go to default table calculations and you can go directly to advanced and i'm going to bring in the claim id and diagnosis code i need these two things to be my unique keys i'm going to go ahead and hit okay and now I get these extra options down here. What I want to do is have the numbering restart after every single claim ID. So every single time it gets to a new one, I want you to start over from zero. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to hit Apply and watch this go from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to pull that out and I'm going to actually go right here and I'm going to turn this to a discrete value so that we can use it here a lot easier. And now you see we have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, so on and so forth. Everything is repeating. Cool. We're almost done. Now we want to create the custom column headers that we want, and we can call this whatever we'd like, but we're going to use diagnosis code. So I'm going to go over here, create a uh, calculated fill, and this is going to be full of state case statements, and we'll call these diag codes. And I'm going to use a case statement. Oops. I'm going to use a case statement, and we're going to use that rank function that we just created there. And remember, it's returning a value of one, two, three, four, so on and so forth. I really just want like the first three or four. So I'm going to do this case. Uh, that and then I'm going to say when um, when it's one then and then I'm going to put this in brackets and we can call this diag one cool and since it's pretty much going to be the same function oops let me fix that right there since it's going to be the same function the entire time I'm just going to copy and paste because there's no need to continue to do that so I'll just do the first three for this particular example so two three come on time is running time is running Five. oops 32 that's what happens when you rush and and cool so what i did was create these column headers and the column header is going to be diagnosis one two three four and whenever it sees this one it's going to just take it it's going to pivot it put that first uh, diagnosis code in the column second one third fourth so on and so forth so i'm going to go ahead and hit apply and hit okay and now i can take this and bring this into my columns and now you can see i have pivoted data now before you saw that some of these go up to six and so on and so forth those are all going to be put in null column so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and just hide that because we don't really care about those in this particular tutorial all right so the last thing i want to do is get those diagnoses codes into the actual numbers right here so i no longer need to see these rankings but i do want the diagnosis codes to go into my text box and bomb, we are done. That is how you pivot data using a calculated fill when the data is just not in the way that you want and you don't have to pivot the entire data model just to get these results. I hope that helped you and I will see you in the next video. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and check out our course.